in a ruined hollow world. The son of Gwyn stands outside. There is a man looking up. Unlike everyone else you have met, he strikes out like a candle in the darkness. He talks with such friendliness and familiarity, yet is so weird as if he doesn't belong here. You meet him for the first time, yet he saves you his dream, his deepest desires. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Everyone has lost hope, but he looks forward. He has no special equipment to push through Lordran, but pure willpower. Everything is hostile, but he is friendly. Do not hesitate to call upon me. Who can forget the battle against Mo and Onstein, which became so easy with his help? Exhilarating, is it not? The power of the sun. I am blessed to have found such a brave companion. He does not give up. And without even knowing where his son is, he dives deep into the earth. But like every man, he stumbles. And it is not monsters or traps which defeated him, but himself, his greatest enemy. Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? In a moment of weakness, he would crumble. But his good deeds were rewarded. And in his moment of weakness, he did not give in to the warmth of that comforting light. And eventually, he reached it. The king of the first flame, the final place he may find what he seeks, his son. And he runs straight to it, and before the final challenge, he laid down his sign to help his friend for whatever lies ahead, and stepped in alone, finding his father. A man so great once thought to be a god. A man who built that city upon the hill and mistook paradise. And they fought over it, that precious flame. In the end, he surpassed the pinnacle of man and he saw it. Pure light, pure warmth grossly incandescent. Ah. Ah. Finally, I have found it. I have ah. my very own son. I am the son. I've done it. I have. Yes, I did it. I did. Oh. 